Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Hey guys, I'm working the part. <laughs> oh, psych. We're really doing this again. You guys know that 15.9% of you aren't subscribed. Like, what's going on? It's so easy. And look, here's a clip right now if you don't believe me. Anyway. There's going to be a clip the entire part, probably. But anyway, you guys are going to have five seconds to like, subscribe, and comment down below, done it. If you... <sighs> Comment down below, like, subscribe in that five seconds, or you have bad luck for the rest of your life. Other than that, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and yeah, let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome to part four, if what a deck you could use infinite one percent, infinite percent of one for all from the start. It's currently 2am, so I'm going to try to wrap this one up a bit quicker, sorry if it's a bit short. So yeah, first off, like all for the next part would be 45 likes. And you guys are smashing it lately. Also, you'll see on my channel there's a join button now. So please click on that join button. It helps me out a lot. But other than that, let's get into this. The last time we left off was the sports festival. And what you composed off was Deku showing off and embarrassing Azawa by talking back to him. Telling him what a hero should be. Which if you're wondering why that's embarrassing, Azawa is a hero and a student is telling him what he should be. Anyway, let's jump back into it. To the next event. The next event is the Human Horse Race. And the 10 million points get pitted on Deku, but on that the original, no one avoids him because of that. Do you want to team up with him because of that? As if they team up with him, with his quirk, he's most likely going to keep the points. That means they keep the points as well. But Deku already has who he wants. Who he wants on his team. Bakugo. Kirishima. Kirishima. Mina. And one more person, which, guess who it is? Itch. Uravity. Birdman is a no no. That will be explained later. <coughs> anyway, let's get into this. Everyone's disappointed that they didn't get with Deku, the guy who seems to be the strongest, but they just take this as the choice that they have to get the 10 million points from him. Wait, who did I say was on the team? It's not Kiyoshima, it's Todoroki, my bad. So it's Todoroki, Bakugo, Mina, Ochako, Deku. And that will all make sense in a minute. First thing first. <clears throat> One sec, Mosquito keeps on bloody biting me. There we go. It begins, and everyone rushes towards them, and Deku tells Todoroki to start the plan. He encases them in a... almost like a pyramid of ice, that's a circle that surrounds them, so they have a bit of space. No one can see inside this either, so they all get off the force, the horse race. There's, there's nothing in the rules saying, you can't get off and no one sees you, so this isn't counted as cheating. And the only person who sees in uh, is some of the referees that can see it, and they've been all told if no one else can see it I'm not breaking the rules so they will smack they're going over the plan because no one else knew that what Todoroki was going to do and so they get the plan and they only stop like come out after people start breaking the ice and Aoyama the enable laser guy shoots a beam through it which nearly went through Bakugo until Deku swiped it away using a gust of like a blade of wind cutting through it but in a flash Deku put everyone he went to 10,000% quickly put everyone in the horse race again and get on top and release his quirk they're all shot and a gust of wind breaks out and they realise Deku's slash broke the ice from the top so they would be seen and they realise that Deku must have moved at extreme speeds to put him back in the formation they start the quirk, <clears throat> they start the plan, everyone rushes them 
and the people who come from the top, Bakugo, he puts his hand up and they think the explosion's coming so they move out the way. Then there's the guy with perfect top copy, Deku smirks and lets him use the quirk. But there was a risk it would be the wrong quirk. And it was the wrong quirk. He punches and it's a bit of a strong punch but it gets blocked and they're like what? His quirk was so much more powerful. And then he, and then Deku says, oh, you mustn't, my quirk's more built up, you have to maybe get it again. Huh. And if you're wondering why I'm giving you tips, it's because I want to have some fun. They all believe this, as they think Deku was born with one fool as well. Well, they think it's only one quirk, so they think he's never had to have a challenge, so they think he actually wants to have fun. So he goes again, but this time he gets one fool. And his hair starts glowing, and that's when they recognise it, and they say, oh, finally this part, and they punch down. But he lost the muscle quirk, so his arm breaks, and Deku says, <laughs> I've also done a lot of training. The only reason my muscles are able to keep up with my strength is because how how big they are. And then they all think, wait, how is he being lifted? And they realise that, and then everyone else realises that Ochaka made Deku weightless. So they're just running like normal speed. <clears throat> And so the perfect copy guy has a broken arm now, so they all retreat. And I'm going to say he had someone in his squad that can heal, so his arm's getting slowly healed. And he's just thinking, that damn Izuku Midoriya. He tricked me. I will master his quirk. And if you're wondering why he says master, it'll be revealed later. I <laughs> like a lot of, a lot of stuff. <clears throat> And if you wonder wondering Mina is in the group, Deku just wanted her in the group. She has no perk. Until a new part of the plan comes up Deku didn't plan. Ochako or Mina whisper. She, she, uh, Mina made, I mean Ochako made everyone weightless as well. And she's nearly puking. And Mina's sliding around in her slime, holding everybody up. So they're moving quite quickly. And no one can keep up with them. As if they keep on following their feet, their shoes will, will get burned until the slime dissolves. So the only way you can get him is going head on, but Mina can easily change direction by pissing out more slime. Then... Someone jumped off their group, which was not against the rules, they just need to be able to get back on it. <clears throat> and he jumped at Deku. Deku lasts and went to 50% full cow. And jumps towards them and just gets his finger and just pokes him. And he gets sent flying into the wall, disqualifying their team. Then they keep up the plan. Bucket Ghost starts flying off with explosions as Mina holds everyone up, still with everyone else being weightless except for Bucket Ghost now, and he's flying with explosions. He goes up to other people still in their headbands and blasts them off, and blasting some people off with his explosions so they get disqualified. So Bucket Ghost has a handful of headbands and he flies it back to Deku, who's, on, who's back on the other people by launching himself back with a gust of wind. And he hands over the headbands. Now there's only five other people left. Leader, I mean one group left. And the thing people are Kirishima, Ida, Birdman, I forgot his name. Uh, Sue, and what was his name? I forgot. And Denki. Is that it? Wait, I said Sue, Ida, Denki, Birdman. Oh, there's one more person. Damn it, I forgot what the name is. What is it? <laughs> Headphone jack, Jiro, that's it, Jiro. And Deku just laughs and says, oh, This will be hard. <laughs> his last shows off his sarcasm. And they're all like, Oh, we, you can't do anything if we just keep our distance and we'll use a wall of sound to stop you. As one, they, on this one, they're allowed to keep get one equipment as long as it's vital to their quirk. And Jiro has speakers on her wrists so she can send out huge shockwaves. And then Deku says, huh, I wonder what I'd do to break that wall of sound. Under his breath, one for all, 50,000%. Only Bakugo and Tadoroki heard this, and it just power explodes off Deku and they're all shot. If it wasn't for them all being weightless and gravity not really affecting them along with the wind, they would be f blown away right now. And Deku with one simple kick 
blows such a powerful gust of wind, it breaks through the sound wave that's blocking it and knocks them all over. And actually manages to cause a few injuries like cuts on a few of them who weren't prepared. Everyone starts cheering. Oh my god, he's so powerful, blah blah blah. But then we go on to the fighting. Unlike before, Deku is unaware of Shinzo's quirk. So when they begin, he says, are you ready? And Deku says, yeah, of course. He starts getting brainwashed and Shinzo says, walk off the ring. And he starts walking towards it. <clears throat> and unlike before, he doesn't get a vision of the one for all users. All that happens is someone pulls him back. Someone that no one else can see, he turns around and he sees a woman wearing a cape, black hair, and he can sense one for all has came from her. And then he remembers what All Might said. This is Nana Shirama. She pulls him back and says, Snap out of it, Izuku Midoriya. Come on, you're stronger than this. You're the strongest one for all bearer that ever has ever been. You can break out of the control. And she grabs Izuku Midoriya and she grabs Deku's hands. And a spark comes from her and goes into him. And she vanishes back inside Deku. And all of a sudden, Deku's fingers light up. And he does a 100% smash with his fingers, sending a huge shockwave blowing Shinzo back a bit. And he turns around fully in control yet again. He refuses to answer the questions. He runs towards Shinzo. This time using full car 5%, so there's not really any of that fight between them. And Deku just puts one of, pushes his punch downwards, knees him in the face, and continues that knee with a kick, sending him out of the arena. Everyone saw Deku get pulled back though, and they all think it was Deku fighting back, but only Todoroki noticed it looked like Deku was yanked, and he's curious. All the other fights go the same, and then we get on to Deku versus Todoroki. Unlike before, Deku isn't getting isn't getting broken fingers with it using his quirk. So he uses full cow 100%, <clears throat> and he hits the ice way easily. No build up or anything, he just punches and kicks. Todoroki realises he's going to have to fight his hardest to fight against Deku this time. And so he goes in quick, sliding in his ice, moving quicker than he did in canon. But Deku, one for always in all of Deku's body parts except for vocal cords. So he sees this coming as time's moving slow for him when he's in full cow, due to one for all going to his eyes. And he just moves out the way. And gets a punch ready, he throws it, but stops right in front of Todoroki's face, sending a gust of wind, sending him flying back. Just like it happened in the original where he punched the ice instead. Or punched him, and he stops himself with a wall of ice behind him. Deku sees Todoroki's arm starting to freeze up, and he laughs and says, You, you're not using your quirk. At least one side of it. And Deku never got confronted by Endeavor, as Endeavor knew that Izuku Midoriya wasn't scared of him and was probably able to put up a fight if Endeavor tried to force him to speak to Shoto. And he wasn't, and for the first time, Endeavor wasn't sure if he would win that fight and it would be bad for his reputation if he lost to a student. It would be bad for anyone's reputation if they lose to a kid. So, he didn't. Endeavor yells out into the crowd, Shoto! You better beat All Might's brat over there! And you will become the number one hero and use my side. Then Deku gets sucked back into a vision. And he sees Todoroki's past. When he comes back, his mood changes and he looks at Endeavor and says, Shut up, you monster. After all the abuse you gave him, you really think you'd want to use that quirk, but one thing I must disagree with you on. Todoroki, I get why you wouldn't want to use your fire side. But as I said, it's your fire side, not his side. It's your quirk. Everyone else is trying their hardest to be a hero and you're over here doing half your best. How disrespectful can you be? You always, you think that he disrespected you, abused you. You're disrespecting and abusing everyone else's honour here by not using your fire side. So please, accept who you are because that will, your fire side will never go away. And, and when he says that something clicks with Todoroki, and fire explodes off his right side. Endeavor cheers, but Deku jumps in the air and kicks him in the face and the flying, but bounces back off him so he isn't out the arena. And Todoroki smiles and says thanks, 
as Endeavor's knocked out. Azawa wants to stop the fight there, but he sees a glare from Midoriya, knowing if he tried to stop the fight, Midoriya would use such a high amount of his quirk that he would probably injure Azawa to a bad point. And the ice on Todoroki's arm melts, and Deku says, let's go. They charge at each other, and Minna tries to stop it, but Deku swings his leg, and they concrete cry, and he breaks all the concrete. Before it even starts, and then he realises that he might actually lose right now, if he doesn't go higher than 100%, he might get knocked down. So he says, 500%. And a green spark of electricity goes off as he zooms across the ring, and their punches collide. <clears throat> when the smoke clears, which was a lot more than original, it shows Todoroki pummeled into the floor in a crater. And Deku at first seemed a bit burnt, but when, when it clears, it shows that it was just a bit of char on his skin, since he's indestructible basically. But on his right arm is ice. And, every, and the medical people run over to help him as he might go into he might lose his arm due to it freezing to such a point until he sparks electricity through his arm and the ice just explodes off him and everyone starts cheering Deku 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 and he thinks oh no that nickname's not gonna leave me now next fight is Bakugo versus Uraka that goes the same and then we have Deku versus Bakugo. Bakugo says, Damn it, Deku, I'm gonna show everyone I'm stronger than you. Since them extras somehow got the thought in their head that you're the strongest out of us. <clears throat> Deku laughs and says, Sorry, Bakugo, but I think Todoroku could beat you. My 100% punch nearly wasn't enough, so I had to go above that. And Bakugo says, So you can break through 100%? How? And Deku says, It's just part of my quirk. And Bakugo yells out as soon as it starts, a huge explosion comes off and he flies towards Deku. Deku wasn't expecting it, so he barely gets full cow off and he has to go to 125%. Just, but he doesn't mean to, he doesn't have to actually, he could have dodged. But due to this, in a spark of electricity, he appears on the other side of the ring, shocking Bakugo, who's barely able to save himself from flying out. When he goes to fly back towards Deku, Deku's already in front of him, turned it down to 75%. And with a just straight palm punch like you see here not to do she hits he hits bucky go into the floor and he starts to run across the ground but deku knows who he takes it easy on bucky go he would he would get mad etc and might even quit being a hero thinking how deku just pities him now so he appeared in front of bucky go, picked up his leg jumped in the end slammed him into the ground and followed it up with a down like axe kick bucky go coughs up blood a bit but blast away with an explosion trying to recover. Deku knows he has to let him recover or a few more attacks like that could seriously hurt him. So Deku pretends he's breathing heavily to recover as well. The crowd's cheering Deku yet again, which just annoys Bakugo. And as I said, you could get equipment necessary for your quirk. So Bakugo got his gauntlets again, unlike Cannon. And he picks it up and launches a huge blast towards Deku. Deku just runs towards it, shocking everyone, and he runs through it, and he punches Bakugo again, and he says, Seriously, Karchan, you should have realised that won't work on me. They all start wondering what Deku's quirk is, is he indestructible or super strong? And Azawa yells out, his quirk is condensed muscle. Due to him, his muscles are extremely strong. Do, letting him be, letting him be, sh sh give out such power, and also making it extremely hard to damage him, almost impossible. So he's immune to most stuff such as cold, heat, and normal weapons. So a bullet wouldn't even graze him. They all start cheering. That's such an amazing quirk. He will easily become the number one hero, and he might even be able to beat All Might now. All Might looks down a bit embarrassed, and then. Bakugo gets up a bit dizzy and puts out his second gauntlet. He uses this as a decoy though, not even meaning, not even aiming at Deku, just to catch him off guard a bit and blind him a bit. Then he puts his hands out and using that explosion that hurt his arms before, sends a huge one. But there was one thing Deku never really let Bakugo know. He always acted like the explosions hurt a bit. Now he has to let reality sink in. He just takes it but picks up a block a bit 
and Bakugo shot his strongest explosion didn't even phase him. Then he yelled at Deku, stop just staring at 100% and come at me fully. And Deku says, ah, and yells out, one for all, 50,000%, which Bakugo thinks his limit is. And wind blows up him again, everyone's shot, and Deku just disappears in a flash, leaving a few after images which Bakugo attacks. Until he realises what Deku done, and he appears behind him, and karate chops Bakugo's neck. Bakugo lays on the ground, and de the chop was actually 20%. As a 50% chop would de nearly decapitate Bakugo. But Bakugo regained consciousness on the count of 8 and yells at Deku, Deku, you powered down again, didn't you? Stop underestimating me. Deku's had enough at this point and yells out, Huh? You want my full power? Fine then, one for. Uh. Deku freezes up and he's like, I can't say one for all. Then everyone's like, one for all? He's been yelling at the entire time, I'm quite curious. Then the reality, reality says, and Deku's been yelling at the entire time. And he says, oh, one for all just a nickname I gave to my quirk. And all my face plants, and then he yells, one for all, one mini percent. Bakugo just eyes widen, and everyone shocked as wind just flows away. The ground starts shaking, and Deku flashes, and with, he actually gives Bakugo a one million percent kick, rupturing his organs. And Deku was sh dead, he didn't think this through. And he runs over the Bucky girl whose who's blood's pouring out of his mouth when he starts crying. He says, God, John, please, please, someone help me. And a light appears coming out of Deku. And he sees Nana Shirama, it's like figure around it. And she touches Bucky girl and he heals. He tells Deku to put his hands out to act like And everyone thinks Deku just healed him. And they were like, What? What is his quirk? As I was confused. But only bearers of all for one, I mean one for all, can can see what actually happened. And all Matt's crying. He says, N -n -n "Teacher." Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this. What if? And if you did, make sure you hit the like button, share with friends and family. Try get on a 10k before I go back to school, which is September the second. I know it's not going to happen, but I have faith in you guys still. I know that that makes sense. We'll just go with it. And also. Hope you guys do enjoy, hit the like of 30, 45 likes was it, or whatever. And make, remember, please become a member, you don't have to, but it means a lot to me. Other than that, bye, peace out, love you.